Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Virtual Bridge Sessions. And today we're joined by John McBain from Ayrshire College, who's going to be talking about his rock pool podcasts. <laughs> I have to say, I'm excited. Right. Hi, everybody. Uh, John McBain here. I am a lecturer in music and performance at Ayrshire College. And I'm here to speak about uh, a project an initiative that was actually born at a lockdown that has snowballed into a monster, and a really nice monster, over the past year. Um, the last time I was here, it was to speak about the music and sound production department and how we were preparing and adopting methodologies and pedagogical approaches to online blended learning, etc. We've all become too familiar with these terms, so I'm not going to bleat on about that any further. But Given this is almost a year since I was last on a virtual bridge session, we've I've I've taken initiative and innovation in my experience to really to really bring bring a project to life, which is now actually became quite ingrained in the Ayrshire College community. I'm going to share my screen just for a minute if you don't mind, and I'll do so as, as I move on. The project and the initiative was actually called Rockpool Podcast, and it's a podcast series that was born out of lockdown. A little idea I had during the summer about how to give a voice and a platform to students, colleagues, friends of the podcast, friends of the college, friends of the community um, across the country and further afield to see if we could actually pull together something to build a community while we were all working remotely, online and from the comfort or discomfort sometimes of, a, of our own homes, living rooms, offices, etc. So I'm just scrolling through this little, this little website, which is called a flow page. It's a platform that I've that I discovered and it allowed me to, to bring together every person, every episode, supplementary information, etc., that's been featured in the podcast and, and the one space. I'll get back to that, that later on. So yeah, innovation, entrepreneurship, that's been at the heart of what I've what I've been teaching and working with my students on in the past year. Um, and I said there, since I last came in the virtual bridge session. Innovation in teaching is something that I've really strived. Two, two highlights I just want to showcase is involving my music students, because everybody who's in education, learners, teachers, lecturers, students, everybody, we've all been doing our bit to try and engage students and keep the continuity flow in our learning and teaching. And I think that's something that everybody has been really successful at over the past year. Our music students were in a place where it's a music performance course. But what we did was we digitized this and we kind of turned our teaching and learning and the, the experience into a kind of 360 musician where we're actually looking at the whole package. It's performance, it's video, it's marketing, it's having an online presence and it's really getting to grips with the digital tools which are readily available to us and how to harness these to make product and make yourself a product and make you as a musician more visible and to kind of push opportunities, etc. I'll share my screen. One of the one of the projects that the students get involved in was a, a digital Burns Night uh, project that we ran um, in celebration of the Bard, etc. And the challenge was for our students to perform Scottish songs. And as you see here, it says a global pandemic kind of keep a good team down. We set our, our students and music students music performance challenges every week. Uh, for various themes, etc. And the Digital Burn Supper, we actually ended up, I think it's 21 performances, which was shared across the college and it was shared wider afield as well. And it's been really successful and it gave our students a little, a little platform to work with. This process of video making and putting them together on a website was something that became standard practice for everybody and it's really going to continue well. Another highlight that I must show you from our students that just captured everybody's imagination was our WandaVision week, the, the Disney and Marvel show, which happened uh, a little while ago. This was airing and we, in speaking to our students and speaking to everybody on Teams and Zoom, etc., we like to talk about what we're up to. WandaVision captured everyone's imagination and we decided to pull together, oh, I do apologize for the Adobe Flash Player update that rudely interrupted the screen there. We decided to Construct a little music theory, performance, stagecraft, video, digital skills lesson based on about a song for this show. And it was incredible because we actually brought in music theory, stagecraft, various elements of the course, all based on about this one crazy song 
for this TV show that just captured everybody's imagination. So it was a, it was innovation. It was using what was in popular culture at the time, and it was it was great. That's a kind of brief introduction or segue into podcasting. Podcasting is something that I've I've listened to for a long time. I'm a fan of many podcasts, and I've always had this idea of. I'd like to do one, but I've never really had the time and I didn't know how to do it. So I decided in lockdown last year, while we're doing all this innovation work and preparing for teaching and learning, why don't I do something that allows me to work with students, to work with colleagues, record some things, maybe do two or three, get them up in line, kind of hope for the best. And my God, it snowballed into, as I said earlier, an absolute monster of an initiative. Rockpool Podcasts is it's a variety show. We feature students, colleagues, friends of the podcast, friends for the local community, friends from wider afield. And we bring together lots of different topics, lots of different discussions, conversations, things surrounding mental health, things surrounding initiatives that would have an impact on a person's life, etc. We've got episodes that are written entirely by students by themselves, working for home, etc. And it's, I'm actually quite amazed at how, how this has taken off. Um, I work with um, a co-host, um, Sarah Turkington, who is Ayrshire College's Equality and Inclusion Advisor, and also a co-host who is a, a young musician called Joe Smith, who's also a music student um, at the college as well. And we co-host the show. And some of the conversations that we've been able to bring to life are just absolutely, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, we've spoken with famous faces, well-known faces. We've had um, podcast episodes with Davina DeCampo, a star of RuPaul's Drag Race. Sitting beside Davina is also an episode with the Hospitality Industry Trust with Michelin star chef Tom Kerridge and also David Cochran, MBE of Hospitality Industry Trust. We've also spoken with Fiona Drury, MBE of the Emily Test, which is a charity in Scotland working to improve prevention and intervention in supporting gender-based violence as well. So look, we've quite a lot of serious topics going on alongside quite frivolous fun stuff, because the point of this is we've given a platform, we're giving people that we work with, colleagues, students, friends, etc. cetera, but we, we are kickstarting a conversation and taking the conversation to a platform to a wider audience. And for all I've said there, I've kind, of, I've kind of said some of the guests we've had on. What was important with this is was to integrate it into our curriculum, integrate it into the music and sound curriculum at Ayrshire College. Because in a year where opportunities for musicians and students and everybody were very, very limited, I just took the notion of innovation and entrepreneurship and I thought, we can't let this year go to waste. It was pointless sitting back idle in a stagnant state doing nothing. So if we can't do that, what can we do instead? And that's where I come up with the idea for the podcast. We're actually sitting with 50 episodes released since November 2020. It's now June. No, it's not. It's just about to turn June here. And we've actually got another 50 coming up over the next couple of weeks as well. So we're going to hit that 100th episode um, in the next couple of weeks, I hope. Um, while it sounds all fun and games, though, it's like we're sitting talking. The engagement in the audience has been brilliant. We have increased our listenership week upon week, month upon month. And it's great to see such an international audience because we're getting listeners from various places across the globe. We're getting feedback left, right and centre. And it's really good to know that it's supported. And it sounds all good and sexy. We've got a podcast and there's these guests, etc. But at the heart of this, as I said, it's actually the learning experience for students and also colleagues and myself that's been really key in this. Because when you listen to a podcast, you're hearing somebody speak, it's almost like you're listening to a conversation, whether it's for entertainment, education, mental health support, or whatever it is you're listening to. There's a podcast for everybody out there. But behind the scenes, the work here, it's a real life, real process and project and what involved in it to bring it to life, to get it out there for, to, to the audience. The students I've worked with and the colleagues, as I said there, we've learned, or I've learned early to, in order to facilitate the learning to, to students and people, is that in order to make a podcast, you don't just sit there and talk. You've got to 
come up with an idea. You've got to then research that idea. You've kind of got to write a, a script or a narrative. You've also got to learn how to use digital tools. You've got to learn how to work with audio. You've got to learn how to work with a computer if you've got one. You've also then got to learn how to speak and present, which is actually, it's pretty difficult actually to speak to sometimes yourself. And that takes confidence and a bit of balls actually to do that. And you know something? Every single person that I've worked with who has produced a podcast or who has recorded or hosted, they've all came into it saying, I'm really nervous, I'm really nervous. I don't think I can do this. And my point to them is, you're an expert here. You're the expert in your own topic, of your own story, and you know everything, and it's just talking. And once the process has been done, it's recorded, and it's released, the amount of positivity and positive feedback I've had from my students about how good an experience it was, how it took them out of their comfort zone, and to see them actually have pride in their work and actually be proud of this achievement, of a conversation, of a topic, just being able to speak, it's, it's pretty impressive actually, and it's been so good to see. When I said there about working with computers and digital skills, please don't be under any illusion that I am sitting in a fancy studio with microphones and sound desks and everything. This podcast is created entirely using a computer, my phone, um, Zoom, a set of broken headphones that I could only hear out of one of yours. Um, that's it. I am using very basic, very little tools to do this. And that is something that I've tried to say to the students, say to the learners, say to anybody who's working remotely, you don't need to have access to the fanciest of computers or the most state-of-the-art expensive software. You can work with what you've got and produce greatness from nothing because it all stems from being innovative and entrepreneurial and actually wanting to do something. And that is something that I've really taken on board and have been so impressed with my learners and everybody that I've worked with in producing episodes of the podcast. They've been able to make something magic from absolutely nothing. And it all stems back to this idea, confidence, and just going for it. And again, if you can't do that, what can you do instead? And I think it's been a good process. I know that lockdown in the past year for many people, particularly for myself and my learners and colleagues that I've supported across the past year as well, it's been an op opportunity to enhance learning and enhance teaching and, and kind of look at opportunities, see what we can do instead. And I'm really, really pleased to say that Rockpool Podcast has been a success and it continues to be a success as well. Um, so yeah, as I said, we're, 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 we've released 50 episodes and record speed. We are speaking with um, people from across the college campus, uh, from across sort of the Ayrshire College community. We've spoken with Anne Campbell, who is our vice principal. We recorded a special episode in celebration of International Women's Day. We've also spoken with Carol Turnbull, our uh, principal as well. And as I said, we've got students from across the college actually producing episodes, not just music and sound, but also the early years department. And we've had guests, as I said, from local community partnerships and further afield to share a story. And the one thing that is at the core of everything in the podcast episodes, these people's stories are so inspiring. That's the, the, there's talking points, it's discussion, but they're all with a purpose. Yes, as I said, we do have a frivolous episodes. The, the cheese board is, a, is one of our most popular ones where Sarah Turkington and I, we sat down and just spoke about cheesy 90s pop that nobody remembers. But then we've also got episodes, um, an episode where uh, we, we worked with Angela Sheridan and Leslie Todd from Ayrshire Aces Hub, who brought on board James Doherty of the Violence Reduction Unit to speak about adverse childhood experiences. So the topics range and flip-flop, but I think that's the beauty of the medium and the beauty of, of what we've been able to construct here out of a, a lockdown idea, is giving a platform and a voice to so many people that can have influence inspire, and inspire other people from our college and the college is further afield. And obviously it goes beyond college into wherever and whoever it is that's picking up on the podcast and, and listening. Well, maybe maybe before we, we, we have a chat, I'd like to just kind of highlight two, two key initiatives that, that, we, that we've been involved in through Music and Sound Department, the podcast and, and other people as well, if I may. Uh, one of them, I'm just going to share my screen and I'm going to head over here. The first one I'd like to speak about is actually our collaboration with Ayrshire College's Passing Positivity. 
initiative. Now, <coughs> excuse me, Passing Positivity is a mental health initiative and it's uh, in association with the Chris Boyd charity. In early 2020, we collaborated uh, with a songwriting competition and it was derailed by COVID and the pandemic as everything else was. But fast forward a year later, <coughs> excuse me, we actually brought this project to life in record speed. The Passing Positivity Initiative is there to support mental health. But the songwriting competition actually extended this message to many more people, including the music and sound production department. We had a very talented uh, musician, Leah Batty, is her name. She's a, she's a student at Ayrshire College. She wrote a song and that was selected as the winner of this. The, the song actually went through songwriting processes and fast forward a year, as I said, the song, the single was actually being released with all profits of the song going towards the Chris Boyd charity to support mental health. The single was actually recorded by uh, Mr. Jai McDowell, who is a, a local musician and he was actually a former winner of Britain's Got Talent. So it's been amazing to, to bring together so many people from across so many different networks in order to bring this single to life. The relation to the podcast, we actually brought together every single person from the team, for the songwriting team, to the charity, to the team behind the Passing Positivity Initiative, to the guys at Sun Turtle Records who released the single. And I was actually quite instrumental in bringing the, the whole thing together. And um, we've ended up with uh, a single, a remix, a music video, artwork, a full podcast episode, little testimonial videos, um, and much, much more. And it's all put together in this platform called Flow Page. The single's called Don't Forget Who You Are. It's a really, really beautifully written and brilliantly performed track and produced track. And it's been really good to see a project such, such as this that could have been derailed by COVID actually resurrected a year later and actually brought to life in fruition. And it was really good to see. I must also say that the little artwork that you can see here, I'm trying to zoom in. That was actually designed by a, a local school pupil from Presswick Academy called Fraser Ferguson. Um, it was a, the, the young guy, he designed this on paper and it was digitized. So a big thanks to Fraser for that as well. Um, moving on to my, my final kind of highlight. This is actually, this is actually one of the podcast uh, projects that I worked on with quite a few people and it was called Your Voice, Your Song and it was actually in celebration of LGBT History Month 2021. Um, we came up with an idea to bring together people to share their voice and songs essentially and it was a partnership between Ayrshire, uh, Ayrshire Equality Partnership, Ayrshire College, NHS, Ayrshire and Arran, Rockpool Podcast and University of the, University of the West of Scotland. What we did here was, I'll share my screen in a wee second, we worked in partnership uh, with these people, with these initiatives, the colleges, etc., to bring together over 50 people into three podcast episodes. The first episode in the, the triple parter it turned into, um, it featured myself and Sarah Tushkin to my co-host speaking with Ellie Bomersall, who is University, University of the West of Scotland's president-elect at the moment. Um, also, Patrick Harvey, who's the co-leader of the Scottish Green Party, and also prominent fashion designer uh, Jules T. Smith, who works and is the lead designer for Binge Designs. We spoke with these people in the first episode to share experiences about LGBT uh, history, the community, etc. The second episode, we actually brought together 50 voices, 50 individuals from across the country who sent in a voicemail using our little innovative platform to share their story of being an LGBT plus person or an ally. And they shared a song which had meaning to them. The third episode, one of my students who is a co-host, Joe Smith, he was so inspired by the project as, as an ally of the LGBT plus community. He actually wrote an original piece of music and a song for this. And I was like, this is amazing. So we recorded a little episode speaking about his point of view as an ally and where the songwriting and the lyrics came from. It was utter, it was brilliant. And this was all based off the back of a podcast episode. There was so much work went into it with so many people and I'm so glad that we did. The way we know that podcasts are an audio format and I was like, sometimes as you saw there for the passing positivity flow page, sometimes you need a little visual thing to go alongside it. So alongside the amazing discussions and conversations we had, um, here, you'll see that we actually created a, 
a digital wall, there's a there's a little avatar close to the pod. We actually created a digital wall of songs. And this is every single person who gave a song, led their voice and a song to the podcast. We pulled them together with a little gift with a name flashing in lights with the artwork of their, their song choice. And this now lives as a website. It's a, it's a Sway website. I'm an advocate of Microsoft Sway. I should be in commission. And alongside the digital wall of songs, we actually included our music students. The music students that I've worked with all year actually got together and performed a piece of music, a song that had meaning to them. And we included it in this, this website, this Sway as well. So this here, based on a little podcast idea, we ended up with three amazing podcast episodes. We ended up with an original song being made. We ended up with three guests, sorry, four guest speakers, because we actually had Farhan Khan, who is a queer Muslim activist, was on the first episode as well. So we actually brought together four, four amazing people into one episode. We had 50 individual voices in the second episode. And the third one was actually inspired by a song written by a student. And then we had a, a wall of songs featuring everybody to celebrate everybody's participation and a digital concert made by students of the college. If that's no innovation, I don't know what it is, but do you know what? It's just an example of the type of work that we've been involved in, that I've been involved in over, over the past year. And I think if this is something that we, if this is the level of work that my students are doing, that we're involved in during lockdown, during challenges and during a pandemic, we're onto a good thing here. And I think whatever version of normality is when we get back on campus and we get back to a kind of routine of events, I would hope that my students and learners and everybody retain the amazing work that they've done over the past year. They keep that knowledge and they just keep in that lane that they're in just now towards success and they put it into practical elements or digital elements if we keep going blended learning, whatever it is. But I've, I've been so impressed by the engagement and the support of the students as well, because if it wasn't for working with students, I wouldn't be doing this. This was an idea that, that I had. It was a success. See if it wasn't a success, I would have went, okay, we tried it, let's move on to the next thing. And you know what? That's okay because you try things, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. We've all been there. And you know what? It's all learning experiences, it's curves, that's entrepreneurship at its heart. Is if you can't do this, do something else. Try it out. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, let it go, learn from mistakes and move on. And I know that that is something that my learners, colleagues and students and everybody that I've worked with over the past year, which has been a lot of people, have kind of taken on board. It's just try something new. There's always somebody there that can support you. I've, I've worked over the past year alongside learning and teaching and podcasting and music, etc. as a blended learning facilitator for Ayrshire College where I've been supporting staff and colleagues and understanding blended learning and how to generate resources and how to work in this kind of new format, which has been new to a lot of people. So I've, I've came across and worked with many, many different faces and people over the past year. Some of which have ended up in the podcast, some of which are recurring friends of the pod. But you know some at this point in time, we're heading into a summer break. And I think everybody, students, educators, everybody is in need of some downtime. But when we come back after the summer holiday, Rockpool podcast will continue. And I can't wait to see what happens next because I don't know where it's going. I have a little idea. I have some tricks up my sleeve and I'm looking forward to more students working with me, more colleagues coming on board and being able to introduce more friends of the pod to the podcast. So. Yeah. So um, I think w one of the challenges with this sort of initiative is that uh, um, the, you've obviously got this underway. It's a fantastic initiative and it grows through time. But you've got new students coming in each year and they're at the beginning. Have you got any plans for how you're going to integrate them coming in at that start level when you've obviously taken this podcast on and it's gained its own momentum, I think, by the looks of things to a different level? Are you going to start a uh, Rockpool podcast 2021, Rockpool podcast 2022 starting again? Or yeah, uh, how do you keep going? Um, I've, I'm actually, we, I integrated this into the curriculum for the get-go as well. It was integrated into a level five sim production um, course and also our NPA 
uh, schools group because we, we work in partnership with local schools who come to do like the level six NPA award. So from the get-go, that was actually part of it. The podcast was part of a project in units and radio features, creative projects, social networking, and sound engineering and production. My, my thought process in that at the lower levels was when you get to HNC level, HND, you do become a bit more complacent. There's a bit more flexibility. You're kind of starting to get into your own groove uh, for, for into the workplace, higher education. But the lower level students, these, these are young kids who are coming in who kind of need a bit of guidance and something that just gives them, oh, I can actually do something within the music industry. We, the, the platform is Spotify. The distributor I use is Spotify exclusive. That is the dominant platform where everybody listens to music. It's Apple Music, Google Play, we know that. Spotify is the sexy music industry tech. From the get-go, we have got young people from various communities who have got no experience in sound production coming on board. And within three months, they have got a podcast, their name is on Spotify, they've released something. And that then kickstarts a process of the creative thinking process. It gets them into the, the creative mindset. And it's 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 just been so good. They took to it as well. They actually love it it's so much. So then I decided to kind of integrate it into like my music students as well. We did like what was called like a, a press junket where they were interviewed on the spot about them as a musician with no prior warning. It was me and a phone, right, talk, and that was it. HND Music have now, they're actually producing <clears throat> spotlight episodes talking about themselves, their musical influences. I've got students from early years who are doing peep sessions, which is to do with early childcare. They're actually coming out this week, they're actually being released tomorrow. Um, so it's integrated into the curriculum. I'm, I'm operating in seasons or series, seasons. <laughs> Season one is the first semester, season two is the second semester. When we start back after the summer, that'll be season three, then four. Um, and who knows what's going to happen in the future. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, John, <laughs> we're just coming up to the end of our time here, uh, <laughs> our YouTube time here. Um, but it, it just, it sounds so amazing. And I've, I have subscribed. I, I listen to your podcast. And, and the episodes are, are just, they are so good. They do cover such a wide gamut. And I, I love that about it. It's, it just gives you an insight in all the things that you encompass as, as part of this. Um, and the, the fact that it's become a student thing, it's so authentic. You're reaching out to an audience. This is essentially introducing them to the kind of life that they aspire to once they leave the college. So, I mean, everything that you've done, I, I, I know you make it sound somewhat easy, but the amount of work that you put into this and, you know, I, I just... I can't thank you enough, just on the behalf of all your students and all your listeners. <laughs> thank just, you so much. Thank you so much. Excellent. Right. Okay. So we, we have come to the end. We will continue the conversation here. Um, I will obviously link to, to Jai's song <laughs> from this. And I, I would encourage everyone, sign up to the podcast, listen to Jai, donate, and just see what happens next at Ayrshire College, because I have a feeling it's going to be good. <laughs> until then until the next virtual bridge session stay safe